the Sahara Desert, located in northern Africa. It serves as the primary source of Saharan dust, which is carried across vast distances by high-speed winds generated by thunderstorms and cyclones. These winds have the capability to transport dust particles for thousands of kilometers, dispersing them across various regions including Europe, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, and the United States. The dust particles produced during these storms are exceptionally small, measuring less than 2.5 microns in size. At this very small scale, they can easily enter the respiratory system through the airways, leading to lung inflammation and damage. Dust inhalation can result in a range of symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, runny nose, breathing difficulties, chest tightness, excessive coughing, and itchy skin and eyes. Furthermore, Saharan dust has been found to contain numerous bacteria and fungi, posing additional threat. Contrary, though, to popular belief, the occurrence of the Saharan dust reaching the United States or even Florida is not uncommon. Throughout the year, Florida, as an example, experiences the arrival of Saharan dust many, many times, which is lifted by thunderstorms and wind currents. These winds often carry the dust in a westward direction, straight towards Florida. Typically, the emergence of Saharan dust plumes over the Sahara Desert is most prominent during late spring, summer, and early fall. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, indicates that Saharan dust activity typically commences in mid-June and reaches its peak between late June and mid-August, with many, many outbreaks occurring every three to five days. So once again, very common. Interestingly, though, the dust particles in these storms absorb solar radiation. This results in the heating of air within the trade wind inversion. This phenomenon strengthens the inversion, which inhibits the formation of thunderstorms that could potentially develop into hurricanes. Lastly, the annual volume of dust leaving Africa does exceed 180 million tons, with the size of the dust bloom heavily influenced by the amount of rainfall in northern Africa. It's the summer seasonal wind patterns that predominantly facilitate the transportation of the dust from Africa all the way over to the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, dust plumes have been observed to travel distances of nearly 5,000 miles, or approximately 8,047 kilometers, eventually reaching Florida, Texas, and other southern regions of the United States. These are interesting things with J.C.,